I've been getting messages from people asking me to share my thoughts on Breitbart's Milo Yiannopoulos, who is the openly gay man who advocates for alt-right, the organization that basically normalizes and validates white supremacy, racism, sexism, homophobia, and a whole slew full of other things. I could do an entire separate video on alt-right, but I'm not going to. I'm going to focus on Milo Yiannopoulos. Because a lot of people are very fascinated by the fact that he is an openly gay man who advocates these types of stances. And really, it's it's not baffling at all. It's actually quite simple. This person is a gay man who is still insecure with his sexual orientation and his identity. And that has, in a way, caused him to lash out at other marginalized communities, especially my own community, the LGBTQ community. Recently, he was in the news also because he's been traveling from university to university promoting um, an alt-right message. And also recently, he was in the news because some possibly confused comments about pedophilia has cast him in a very negative light from both liberals and conservatives. A lot of people have asked, like, Donnie, are you mad at this gay person for being this way? And the truth is, I'm not mad at him at all. In fact, I pity him quite a bit because his situation is a symptom of a much larger problem in our culture, a problem that involves the normalization of homophobia and other types of discriminatory behavior like that. And I know people are going to say, but we've come so far, Donnie. We've done a great job with same-sex marriage and all of that jazz. The truth is, yes, we have. But there is still a lot more to do. There's still a lot of bullying. There's still a lot of underlying discrimination that goes unaddressed. And it needs to be addressed. And his example needs to be discussed like this, because if we don't look at these examples, we aren't going to be able to resolve the problems that are occurring. And that problem is the normalization. And unfortunately, he is the kind of person who normalizes white supremacy, racism, sexism, and aptly decorated homophobia. And honestly, he is a journalist. So he probably tries to cast himself in a very negative light to get more attention, which, I mean, again, it comes back down to how media in various forms, tends to manipulate things. But that those are my thoughts on Milo Yiannopoulos. I really hope that someday he realizes that he needs to stop internalizing his insecurities about his sexual orientation, because in the end, it's just going to continue damaging our community, and it's also going to continue damaging himself. And I don't like to see anyone go through something like that. Anyway, if you guys like my videos, please subscribe to my channel, and thank you for taking the time to watch. Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Whether you agree or disagree with me, I enjoy hearing everyone's thoughts. Anyway, thanks!